this is your next free PHP 7 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to write and read from files. So I set up a little project for us. Here we have our project folder and we have four files. The write text, a read text, a CSV write text and a CSV read text. You will see in a minute why we do this. First of all, let's go ahead and read something from this file and then we write something into the file in our index.php. Okay, I have this NetBeans IDE. I love it because it um, has automatic code formatting. It's free and it's, well, it is an IDE and not just a text editor. I love it. Check it out if you fancy that. You have to download the dark theme, by the way. It's not default. Okay, so the read text. What does it do? We have a text in the read text. I am a text. We save it and that's what it says. Okay, this is the read text. First thing you have to do is you have to define a variable that opens the the file that you want to work with. And well, usually you call it handle and the function you use for that is f open. And here you go. That's the beauty of uh, NetBeans. You can't read it maybe because it's very small, but it gives me suggestions and you can even scroll down like in the manual and check out what you have to put and where. You know, that's a string and uh, the different kinds are explained. I'll explain to you in a minute. Well, first things first, the file name. Well, the file name, it's in the same folder just to make stuff easy and it's called read txt. Now the mode, that's the next interesting thing in this case we're just opening it to read which is why we put r okay r for read there's also w for write and there is also a for append you'll see that in a minute but let's just start with reading what is in the read t x t now you will learn a new function, well, two new functions, we will print out everything that is in the stream. So we opened the stream here, a file. We opened it in order to read it. And now with the while loop, you can go ahead and say while the end of the file, and that's how you would write it, end of file, file, end of, uh, of this handled stream. So while the end has not been reached, read from it. And this is how we do it. We would echo it out and F read. And again, we get suggestions, read the handle and the length. Now the length is in bytes. Uh, I will just put uh, 1024 bytes here. And this tells you how much bytes you read from the file. This can come in handy if you have very large files. Okay. The uh, thing is here, we just have a few words. So even one would be enough, I guess. But let's just put 1024. You have to put a value here anyway. So while the end of the file has not been reached, let's save that. And you see down here in our web browser, I am a text. And as you see, this is exactly what was written in the file. Perfect. So this is how you read from a file. Next step. Maybe you want to write something to a file. Okay. So we have to write txt. Nothing is written in there. Let's write something to it. By the way, whenever you open files, whenever you do this, a file open, be it for reading or for writing or for anything, in the end, please always put F close and close the handle, okay? This just means that the stream is stopped, it's properly ended and you properly closed the file. Always do that, all right? I'm text, here it is again. Okay, let's move on, let's keep the handle variable because we are going to need it and 
change this to write txt and this time we are not opening it in order to read we are opening it in order to write so put a w there's more than just r w and a um, you can check that out in the manual there's a c a plus all right so if you were to read and write you could put r plus but now we are just going to talk about r read w write and later append okay so we opened the write text we opened it to write something in it well let us write something to it with the f write function and obviously you have to tell the write function where do you do that in this variable over here and a string so let's create a simple string and I am the new text. Here we go. Remember the semicolon. And now let's check out what stands in the right text. Nothing. So, oh wait, okay. obviously I have to start a program here. If I go in there, it tells me there has been something new. Refresh. I am the new text, okay? Obviously, you have to run the program. It's not enough to just save it, okay? And this is why an IDE is so handy because it actually runs the program and compared to a text editor, okay? So this is how this comes in handy. Well, here you go. I am a new text and well, that's what you wrote to it. Perfect. Now, maybe some of you know CSV files. Ah. What did I forget? F close handle. Here we go. Always remember to close the files that you write with. I'm guessing now there's a uh, I'm new text several times. Oh no, just the one. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we still leave the handle and F open variable here alrighty and let's go ahead and read a CSV. CSV is the format which is compatible with Microsoft Excel okay so if you have an Excel sheet and you put it into a simple text file it usually looks like this a lot of values separated by a lot of commas now PHP has a oh sorry that's not <laughs> like that PHP has a very cool functionality where you can read this into an array and vice versa, okay? So that you can write it from an array into a CSV compatible file. Now, first things first, we will have to open this for reading and it is called, how did I call it? It's CSV read csv read we open it to read and now you have a new function to learn but it's quite easy to remember it's f get csv so for example um we have a variable that we can call uh, how could we call it uh, like the um, content and we put into this content file the f get c s v from this handle as always and now that we have it in an array in the content variable we can print the content variable here ah, every time here we go and remember we have apple banana orange and mango and if we run this program it should be telling us the same thing but it doesn't so maybe there is some mistake print our content we opened it to read that's correct too what happened here to do it we have the handle we opened this ah there's why I misspelled and obviously there is no file called like that. So let's save it. 
hit refresh and down here perfect you see the array that we have now so in this content sorry in this content let's fix that variable we now have an array with all these csv files in it and we have apple banana orange and mango perfect now let's do the other way around we want this to be written to a file but csv style so that it can be read later into uh, excel for example so th th this could be anything okay uh, if you ever want to convert an Excel sheet into a text file, you, you, you can do this and you can work with it with arrays. So let's go ahead, CSV write, just so you see, is empty, okay? And now let's start and we don't need this anymore. So we open it first csv write we open it with a w to be written or with an a to append and let's create an array for example content is an array with um, we could do can we, do? we can do uh, strings for example we can go ahead and say Phil James and Steve this is our array and the next thing is well we don't put the function f get CSV but we go ahead and do f put CSV again with handle and again with content semicolon save run the program we go in here, CSV write text. Um, da -dum, da -dum. Zero turns, just as an array. Should be working. Ah, here we go. Okay, I was a little too fast here. Here we go. If I refresh, I have this array written into a CSV file in this text. Perfect. Today you learned how to read from files, how to write something into files, you learned how to create CSV files and read from them, you learned that you have different parameters here, you learned a ton of options like f open, f close, f put CSV, f get CSV, f close in the end, f read, f write and well yeah I hope this was helpful. If you like this free tutorial, it's free. So please, uh, only thing I ask is a, is a like and subscribe. If you have questions, put them in the comments and I see you in the next tutorial.